Hello everyone, my name is Ed Tucker and welcome to the Ink and Insight show. Today, we, I will be having an upcoming author from the University of Nairobi. Probably if he could introduce himself, that would be nice. Okay, hi. Um, my name is David Kariuki Mwangi, uh, aka Karis. I'm a student at the University of Nairobi, currently in my fourth year doing uh, journalism and media studies. I also... Um, I'm a writer. I would call myself a writer, Christian author. Yeah, and uh, looking forward to the journey of writing and more to that. Mm. So it's interesting that you mentioned your Christian author yeah. and still in the university, which uh, I am an author also well. and in the university. So probably you could tell us just how, how it has been uh, how have you balanced between the two, between your education and your your writing on the on the side? Uh, the journey is hard. I would say I started to write in the year 2022, in the month of uh, March around there. And by then it was easy because the classes were online. So you would probably be having one or two classes in a day. There were no many practicals. So 2022 was easy. But then 2023... Uh, classes there were so many and then practical demanding I have to travel I don't stay in the hostel so the journey of coming it's not easy so I would say last year I was not quite consistent but coming to this year despite that I'm more working as well and being in school and also writing I would say the journey is good but tough and demanding of consistency and my time yeah okay so it's also interesting that you've mentioned that you are a Christian author yeah. Not just an author, a Christian author. Yeah. Um, it's something I resonate with because uh, I have written a book, and the book I've written, of course, it's it. Since I'm a Christian, I decided to do the Christ to go the Christian route. So, just to ask you, why Christian author? Why not just any other author? Okay, as for me, why Christian author? I would say it's quite. Uh, I, I would say it's a calling, that's how I would call it, and uh, it has started way back in the year 2021. I remember my pastor, he's called uh, uh, Pastor Monye, uh, I would be happy if he would see this. Uh, he, we were once traveling to a place called Heaven's Gate Prayer Mountain, and then he tells me, we were in his vehicle, and then he tells me that, do you know that one day God is going to use you in the field of writing? And I was like, no, I'm not a writer. I hated writing. I hated everything that is associated with books. But then God changed me. That's what I would say. In the year t that was in the year 2021. Then uh, uh, in the year 2022, I was so desperate. I was in a time of... Uh, I would say I didn't know what exactly to do with my life. And in that situation of idleness, I was like, Karis, what do I do with my life? And then I was like, there's an idea in my mind. I can maybe put it down. And I had a notebook. Actually, if you look at my first book, it is written in the University of Nairobi notebook. Among my other notebooks, that is where my first ever written book was. And it was not intended to be a book. So I was like, Karis, let's put this down. And then I put down uh, the first day and then i was like okay what is this the second day i was like i'm still idle there's not nothing i anything i'm able to do at the moment so let me just uh continue with the idea that i had and then it kept on resonating and i was like okay it's getting to somewhere at the end of the day after like three months i was like okay my notebook is full so what next i was like let me type but then god kept in a way talking to me and making me aware that he wanted to use me in uh, the field of writing books and at the moment I've written the third book I'm currently about to start my fourth book especially after school and I would say that's how the journey has been and that's why I would say I'm a Christian author I know it's not going to be any other field till the end yeah yeah so um, you mentioned that you felt like it was a calling God called you to going to this field yeah. and you also said that you have you're on your, your you've written three books already yeah, you know fourth. you're now doing your fourth yeah. so are these books out or how do you do you plan do, is it something you've written on the side yet yet to be published and are you planning to publish them soon 
Uh, good question. I'm also looking forward to that. I thought uh, that after finishing the rate, uh, writing the first book in the year 2022, I thought of publishing it the same year, and I went forward and uh, looked for an editor. I gave the book, but then I think that was not the will of God. That's what mm -hmm. I have come to realize. But um, planning, because the end of the, the end goal is to have them read by other people yeah. other than myself. So I'm looking forward to publish them. Um, Probably this year. Probably this year. Um, I would say that I am looking forward to publish them so that people can read. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, actually, I I love that you've said you look you're looking forward because I believe if you have a story to tell, then you have to also for yourself just give space for the story itself to try and influence others. So um, can just say that. It's quite inspiring seeing someone like me in the university um, doing, uh, uh, or rather be an author who wants to publish their books. So it's quite inspiring for me seeing that there are other people like me out there who are Christian authors who want their work to be seen by other people and who are still in the university. So probably if, if, you, if, you, could ha if you have any advice to someone who is in the university uh, because that's whom we relate with uh, who wants to step out and write step out and write something um, what advice but step out and write something but really doesn't have the confidence to uh, feels like probably their english is not that great or yeah just the hassle so what advice would you give such a person uh, my advice to them is that uh, when it comes to doing things for the kingdom, I love to call them. Myself, I call myself a kingdom order, because uh, this is a kingdom we are coming from. So what I would say is that in this kingdom, you don't do it by your own volition, will you just do it because God intends you to be there. You might not be the best in English. You might not be the best in uh, your oratory and stuff. So, uh, my advice to you, if, if it's the calling of God, uh, don't be worried on how these things are going to be. Like Mary asked the Holy Spirit, uh, not the Holy Spirit, but uh, the angel who, who came to her, and she was like, how shall these things be? That was the same case for me. I was like, how will this thing happen? Seeing I don't know how to write, I don't love to do so. And then the response was like, the Holy Spirit will overshadow you, and you are going to bring forth the desire of God. So, uh, if it's the call of God on you, don't be worried. The power of God will come on you, and He will help you to make it bring to a reality. And it's possible; it's doable. It doesn't matter where you come from; it doesn't matter your your past, but it's doable. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, thank you, David. It was really nice hearing your short story about your journey in writing hopefully someone out there who uh, has had or watched watch this video hopefully you receive inspiration from David and also myself uh, that you're able to step out and just just do you yeah. if it is it's God's will then God wants you to serve him with your talents and yours and mine happens to be writing so if there's anyone out there feel inspired and yeah, at the end you can just, if you want to like, uh, share and subscribe to this video, I have been your host Ed Tucker on the Ink and Insight show with David Kariuki.